Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, mwah, mwah, kisses. My name is Rosalind, but you can call me Rosie for short. And the month of August is so exciting. It was my little sister's birthday and little Lynn's birthday is coming up. She's gonna be turning seven so soon and she's gonna be going back to school. So, so many exciting things coming up. And for the month of July, I had a few beauty, style, and food favorites. So without talking anymore, let's begin. As always, I'm gonna start with beauty. So I'm gonna start with makeup. The first thing that I have is this foundation. And this is by 100% Pure. And what I like about this, it has really good vitamins. It has sun protection, it's cruelty-free, it's vegan. So it's like all the best in just one bottle. And how cool is that? Not many brands out there exist like this one. And for example, this one has aloe, it has fruit extract, it has leaf extract, and so many good ingredients. I really like wearing this on the days that I apply makeup. And I like the texture and I like so much how well it blends into my skin, how well it covers. The only downside for me is that it's a little bit light on my skin so I do have to mix it up with another brand that I have which is this one here by Physicians Formula and this one again it's cruelty free, it's vegan, it has sunscreen, it has an SPF of 30 but if I had to choose between these two then I would definitely go with 100% pure just for being more natural and pure and I highly recommend it. Okay, the next thing that I have is this. And this is blush by the same brand, by 100% Pure. And this is the shade in Peppermint Candy. And again, this is 100% natural, cruelty-free. Some of the beneficial ingredients that it has, it has strawberry, it has fruit extract, peppermint, goji berry, vitamin C. And when I first got this, I don't know why, but I just like smelling things. I smelled this and it just smells like mint. And I like that. I've never had a makeup that smells like mint and I thought that was so different and so interesting. And I got this shade because last time I had a blush by NYC that it fell and it shattered. So I was looking a shade really similar. I still didn't find a wine color that I was looking for. This is more like between like a coral or like a light wine color, but not like that deep wine, red wine that I was looking for. And this is the blush that I actually have now. And I also have um, the two foundations on my skin, which I had to mix to get the right shade for me. And next is this. This is the Black Eyeliner by 100% Pure again. And this is the shade Black Tea. Again, the packaging is so cute. I like all of their packaging, by the way. And what I like about this is the thin brush that it has. And that way, you get more control over the liner that you want to achieve. So if you want to get more of a thin line or a thick line, you're easily able to do that. It's not like other liners that the brush is thick, but this one is so thin. And I really like that. And I don't know if you're able to see my eyes, but I have it now. And the pigmentation is so dark. It's so black, which I really, really like. I just like everything that they have to offer. Companies like this, I support so, so much. And I think they are such a good example for other companies to follow. So it does have a lot of pros, but a few cons. One, not all the line is vegan, so some of their products do use honey. And that's a big downside for me because with everything that's happening with bees, that a lot of them are dying, I think it would be a good idea that less companies use honey. And the other thing are the prices. The prices are a little bit high, so I only wish they could lower their prices. But again, this is a line of product that I 100% recommend. Okay, the other thing that I have is this soap. Here is just the packaging, and this is by Kiss My Face. 
and this one has olive and green tea. I have been using this brand for a few months and I like it. I like that it's a big soap. It's not like the small ones that you usually get at the store or at the drugstore. This one is big in size and it really lathers, which I love. It hydrates my skin and leaves my skin so soft. I'm not a big fan of the smell, but again, it says olive, so yeah, it does smell like that. And a few of the benefits, it has no flat lids, no artificial color, it's biodegradable, it's gluten-free, no animal ingredients, no animal testing. So you can find this at any Whole Foods in the US or you can get it online. I love it and I recommend it. <laughs> So a few fashion pieces, if you've seen my last two videos, then you have seen these already. And the first one is this top. It's a beautiful coral color. This is one of my favorite colors. And this is from the store H&M. And I like it for being so lightweight. It's flowy, it's so comfortable. It has this button on the neck area. This is where you fasten it and then on the back, it just covers the middle section. And the last time I checked, I still saw it on their website. So if it's something that you like, then I'm gonna leave it in the description box in case you also wanna get it while they still have it. And the other piece, also from H&M, are these shorts. And I like it, again, for being so light. It's flowy, so comfy. I like that it stretches on the waist. So if you gain some pounds, if you lose weight, it's still gonna fit. I like the details here on the bottom. I do recommend that if you use this since it's so, it's kind of see-through, not completely, but I do recommend kind of a long top. That way it's gonna cover your behind. And I have been wearing these two together because I love the color combination. And the next thing that I have is this pizza by Amy's. And this is the veggie pizza with no cheese. The last time I talked about the pizza with vegan cheese, but I like that on the back, when I read the ingredients, I can clearly see what it has. So this one, for example, has organic onions, shiitake mushrooms, sea salt, organic tomato, organic garlic, and so on and so on. I like that on the back, you can read the ingredients and see what's in it it's not like those frozen foods that if you try to read you don't understand anything and it's so good if you don't want to worry about cholesterol this doesn't have any so this is just a healthier version to regular pizza it doesn't have as many calories and i like having this like once a month it's so great so that's it you guys for my july favorites i hope you liked everything that i had to share if you have liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what are some of your july favorites so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time kisses Bye.